My name is Michelle Hoffman, and I'm a registered dietitian with Dietitian in Your Kitchen. And I'm here to kind of give you the 411 on tacos, or um, really how to make DIY tacos. So uh, the first thing that I really want to talk about is the my plate, because when I'm thinking about a balanced meal, I'm thinking about, okay, so I'm planning a dinner for myself, or maybe some friends, or even a whole family. I really want to think about balance. And so the MyPlate is the way to do that. The MyPlate is basically a way to, or a model um, that we put all of our food groups into, and we have our grains, our dairy, our vegetables, our fruits, and our proteins. And so on a plate model, for I would say a dinner, I aim for three to five food groups. And so we want about half our plates for that dinner to be fruits and vegetables, about a quarter filled with protein, aiming for lean, uh, lean sources of protein, and then about a quarter of grains. And it's recommended to make at least half of your grains in a day be whole grains. And then we also don't want to leave out dairy or calcium rich foods. And so what better way to incorporate our food groups um, than in a taco? And so if you are someone who is thinking about, you know, what can I make on a budget? What can I make? Um, and I have less than 10 minutes. This is sort of the perfect thing you can put together, whether you enjoy meat or if you're a vegetarian or even gluten free. So we want to think about our base first. And so our base is going to normally be our carbohydrate. And this is an easy way to think about adding that whole grain one of yours for the day. And so if you are someone who um, does eat gluten or can tolerate gluten, I would recommend choosing a whole wheat tortilla. Um, this isn't gonna be more expensive than a flour tortilla, typically speaking, um, but it is gonna give you more fiber, um, some protein and B vitamins. Um, and so if you prefer corn tortillas, if you're watching your gluten or you just like um, hard tacos, um, another way to add a whole grain into that taco would be with some brown rice. And so I chose instant brown rice because it says it takes 90 seconds to make. And I know it's a whole grain because the ingredient list on the back and the first ingredient is going to say whole wheat or whole grain. So after we've chosen our base, which is again our carbohydrate, we then want to think about our protein because the protein is really like the conduit for other ingredients. And so for me, I really enjoy lean sources of meat. And so I chose chicken. And if you are a vegetarian, I would recommend trying tofu. Uh, you could also incorporate those black beans or any type of bean as well for some protein. So I actually went with a rotisserie chicken. I already sort of pulverized it. Um, but I bought, um, it was, uh, basically two for $10 at the store. So I bought two rotisserie chickens and it looked a lot nicer when I bought it. But essentially what I did first was simply pull the legs apart and then you have the two breasts on top. And this is, you can kind of know what a chicken looks like. This is what one of them looks like. And then there's the other one, of course. And those are the parts because they're the lighter meat that I want to shred for my um, taco. I also took the skin off. The skin is going to be where more of that saturated fat, which is the fat that um, can raise cholesterol levels. So if you're looking at your cholesterol levels, um, choosing rotisserie chicken without the skin and choosing the lighter chicken breast portion is what you want to go for. Um, and it also sometimes is brined in salt. So if you can find a low sodium, um, um, it might say that on the label, um, but also by getting rid of that skin, you're going to get rid of some of that added sodium as well. So I already, like I said, pulled it apart. And then from there, um, I just used my hands and I just started ripping it apart and it kind of comes off really nicely, like kind of follow the grain and you just rip it apart lengthwise. Um, and that's how you really get pulled chicken. If you don't like to use your hands, you can always use a couple forks. Um, that's gonna do kind of the same thing as your hands. Um, so after we have our protein, we wanna think about our fruits and vegetables. So for some balance, I chose to cut up a tomato. Um, I also chose an avocado, which is a healthy fat. Um, and then uh, to top it all off, I chose some local shredded lettuce. 
and um, a little bit of lime juice and some sprigs of cilantro. So that's really gonna give me a lot of balance to my taco. All right, so basically, oh, and I almost forgot. Um, so a lot of people like to use sour cream for some kind of like that sour element to your taco. And so if that's something you love and don't wanna compromise on, totally fine. Um, me, I go for Greek yogurt in place of sour cream because it's gonna give me that same thick texture, um, a little bit of that sourness as well. Um, and so I'm just gonna top off my taco with that. All right, so from there, I'm not gonna actually cook this because I am gonna use my tortilla, but if you want to simply heat up your tortilla, if you like it a little bit warm and steamy, steamy you can heat it up in your microwave for 10, 15 seconds. Um, and again, that's just gonna add a little bit more freshness without doing anything fancy. So from there, I'm gonna first add my protein. So because I'm using chicken, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. If you aren't sure, um, if you're looking at trying to watch portions about the size of your palm, that's gonna be about three ounces of protein. So for this one taco, I may, you know, may choose about two ounces because I might have a second one, I'm not sure yet. Um, so once I kind of have that in there, Next, I'm going to add my, actually I already cut it up, my tomatoes and my um, avocado. So I simply just cut it up. I cut my avocado lengthwise and I'm gonna keep the part with the pit and store it in the refrigerator uh, with my limes and that's gonna help keep it a little bit fresher longer and keep it from browning. And so again, it's not anything fancy we're doing here. Um, I might actually have chopped up my tomato a little bit finer, but oh well. Um, and then I'm going to take some of my shredded lettuce, and just add that, Oop. and then squeeze some lime juice, again, to get some of that acidity, to balance it out. And then I already washed my cilantro, um, if you like cilantro. Some people don't, some people like to use different herbs on top of theirs. Um, and it's so easy. Some people do chop it up finely, but again, if I'm on, if I'm in a rush or if I'm not comfortable using a knife or I want my child to do this part, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, why not? So again, I'm not, you're not getting graded for this. So, all right. Plus it makes your fingers smell really good afterwards. So once you kind of just sprinkled all that in there, I'm just gonna top it off with just a dollop of this um, sour cream. I'm sorry, sour cream alternative. And just kind of wrap it all up nicely. And there you go. Some people like to add a little bit of spice to it. So you could do that with um, some sriracha or any kind of chili powder or um, even some hot sauce as well. So there's a lot of fun ways to do this. You could even make a breakfast taco. You have all these ingredients left over. Um, maybe for a breakfast taco, instead of using the shredded chicken, which you're gonna use later for um, another dish, maybe some, put it in your salad. Um, you can just scramble some eggs. Um, you can even cook them in the microwave, one minute per egg, and then you've got a breakfast taco. So um, the opportunities are endless uh, really here. So that's really the 411 on tacos. Uh, thanks for joining me.